Bro, there's so much stuff that I want to do. It's not even funny. I got like... It's like a consistent cycle of like... Just stuff, bro. And like work that, you know, I want to... Um, like, you know, keep evolving everything that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like... I love consistency, but I also hate complacency. And that might not make any sense, bro. But that's just that's just how I feel. Like I feel like these uh, graphics for like you know the pod need to uh, evolve and you know just change up. Like I I got ideas and I just haven't acted on them yet. Um, I kind of just been like, you know, not necessarily like waiting on inspiration, but like, you know, you work while you wait. That's a, that's a thing that, um, I got from somebody. I don't know who it was. It's some motivational person out there, most like an ET, but you know, um, the whole like work while you wait. So like when it, when it finally like, you know, brings itself out of, uh, the cloud or you know whatever is my brain (laughs) it'll happen um y'all see that on uh the podcast and on stream and it's gonna be dope you know it's just like i know i have an idea for it right but i just don't know how to execute it yet so um yeah man we just gonna get straight into it today man welcome back to the why i'm geek show this is episode 21 by episode 21 and yeah it's it's been a crazy week um you know we dropped the pot we not the podcast but uh we dropped the doc on tuesday that was an amazing day and we also launched growth for the first time like officially um to everybody you know i made a video recording the whole process and it was it was dope I got a good response and it really showed me like you know where I'm at you know gave me gave me some good numbers um, to move forward with and pretty much like this whole weekend I kind of just been like trying to hone in on the business side of everything Um, just because it's like you know so much that we can end up doing you know what i'm saying that it just it all takes time to you know come to fruition like um i set up you know my website or my portfolio for um you know anybody that would you know want to search uh or like you know now i have somewhere to basically point people into understanding like what it is i do like if they don't pop into the stream or you know uh, watch a good amount of my videos like that's the easy place to get an understanding of like you know what we all have like going on here and um i think that's huge it's still like under construction you know but it's there it's there and that's what that's what counts bro um because you know it's, it's, it's a difference between, like, like, I was talking to one of my friends about this, a difference between, like, saying you want to do something and, like, you know, wait until it's perfect, um, until, or, wait, <laughs> or the difference is, or, no, wow, the difference is, um, uh, you know, wait until something's perfect rather than, like, actually doing it, you know, and then basically, like, you know, evolving it as you go, like learn on the fly. Um, because that's like the best experience you can get, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's been a crazy week. Uh, we also hit 350 subs on YouTube, man. So I'm super excited about that. Welcome to all the new people that have subbed over there. And if you listen to this and haven't subbed already, definitely go do that, man. Um, the channel has grown a lot and you know we're seeing consistent growth along with everything that's happening on twitch as well and it just 
in all different places. It's definitely like different paces, um, and we're working on, you know, um, a whole bunch of different strategies towards that. But you know, I won't necessarily get too much into the nitty gritty of that specifically. Um, but you know, in in today's podcast, I really wanted to just talk about you know um, some things that I've not only just been noticing, but kind of like things I want to change. So like you already heard me talking earlier about, you know, uh, changing up the graphics and what things look like. Cause I've already, you know, somewhat done that as far as like the thumbnails and stuff that, um, you guys see every time, you know, we upload an episode of the podcast, but that hasn't necessarily translated to, you know, what happens on stream and that'll, that'll, that'll happen. Like I said before, but also, um, I want to like niche down even more. So with this podcast, I realized, you know, it's very easy to just talk about, you know, what happened this week, whether it happened to me or not, you know, and I'm definitely going to continue to like cover, um, a multitude of things, but you know, I want to, I want to get specific, man. Um, before, like the category that I had this podcast on is uh, like leisure, you know, it was like in the gaming realm and stuff like that. But really where I want to be is film and TV because that's like, you know, my main thing now. It's very, it's very like. Hmm. It's it's very I guess critical. I don't know. I don't know what what the word is, but you know, like that's that's my lane, man, and I'm just trying to like really, you know, stick to that, you know what I'm saying, and like really build a community because if I don't like I don't know. I feel like that's a that's an easier way to do that. But I just would want to like you know feel like I'm like feel like I'm actually in a community. You know what I'm saying? Rather than like just talking about whatever and it just be that. Like I feel like there's a there's a time and a place for that, you know, like this could evolve into just being that, but I think I need to niche down right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like if I do that, you know, it'll be a lot easier to, um, package the podcast and really say what it's about. Cause this weekend, like, and like, you know, over this last week, I got, I gained a lot of clarity on like, you know, what I'm trying to do, you know, with building the website and, um, kind of just like laying everything out. I know now, like that's where, you know, I want to be and I want to have, you know, these discussions and theory craft, um, uh, not just on the podcast, but just in general, like with my content, like that's my, th- that's what I love to talk about, you know? And um, I realized, like, you know, with the podcast, it's so easy to get kind of off track that, you know, the conversation just flows into a whole different place. That's why I think it's important to have, like, you know, a list and stuff like that. Um, But I also think now that it's important. And this is, if you haven't noticed already, this is going to be more so, like, you know, a a, how to build a podcast type of type of episode and just like you know an insight on like you know where I'm at with it but um I noticed like just from listening to a whole bunch of different podcasts uh, whether they're solo duos trios like you know a, a whole group of people you know they a, a lot of them you know have segments and I want to start doing that I don't necessarily have like you know um anything that's like you know groundbreaking or you know one of a kind 
uh, that you know comes to mind because I don't I don't want to try to spend time you know reinventing the wheel I still want things to be you know natural and um, one thing specifically that I, I know I want to talk more about is like versus battles and um, I I think that those discussions are really fun to have um, especially with chat you know um, just because you get you know different perspectives of people and whether whether or not like you know you're right or wrong I just like hearing people's opinion on it and and, and giving my own so like one specifically um, that happened over like you know whether it was last week or this week um, I saw it on Twitter was like they had the anime Mount Rushmore and by the way if you're not following me on Twitter definitely go do that Janato Sensei XV um, but yeah there was the anime uh, Mount Rushmore and it was you know them versus I think it was Marvel it might have been Marvel slash DC um, but you know it they had Goku they had Naruto um, One Punch Man uh, Ichigo and Luffy and it was versus Marvel and I'm like yo Anime Mount Rushmore is washing everybody else in Marvel and, you know, DC. If we're going off, if we're going off, like, you know, the Mount Rushmore of DC or Marvel characters, like, you know, maybe not necessarily like just the Avengers or the Justice League, but, you know, those marquee, like strongest of the strong, like. I think because Marvel has, you know, not or I think just because like Marvel and DC have not only the just a different like writers and stuff, they have a little bit more leeway of like, you know, things that their characters can do. But with these anime characters, bro, they just like are built different, bro. They're literally built different. Like planet we're looking at planetary type of destruction you know at such an early age that where it's not even fathomable anymore you know and that also goes on to like just the longevity of these characters that you know have had different writers over periods of time that you know anime and comic books specifically you know differ they differ in that in that sense like you have your set based lore with a lot of these characters for dc you know but you have all these different stories or not even just dc but marvel as well that you know like the the comic book writers are there to push boundaries you know what i'm saying and with anime and you know the mangas is usually like just that one story and that one author and that's it you know or a few authors but like that similar like just one story you know what i'm saying like maybe it just hasn't like come to that time where you know they're retelling stories over and over again but like that canon be canon you know for animes and I don't know. I just think that they're watching. Like, they're literally watching Marvel and DC. Let me know what you guys think in the um, comment section and stuff like that. But, yeah, I want to start doing versus battles um, and just, you know, giving my opinion on those. And then also, you know, our, our you know, constant talk about whether um, or... You know, our constant conversation that we always have, like, our breakdowns and recaps of episodes that, you know, have passed. Now, I do that in this episode as well. Um, but then, um, what I would like to do, like, you know, last would be filler. So, that's when, you know, we would talk about um, just, like, what else is going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh Let's see what else. What's what? What happened this week? That was crazy. Um, hmm. Like the 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 uh, what's her name? The track and field girl. Like she be zooming. Um, that literally happened. I think it was either today or yesterday. 
Um, she became an Olympian. Dang, what's her name? It was all over Twitter, you know? And I think that's, like, really cool. Um, so, like, I must, I would call that, like, a filler episode. Like, not even a filler episode, but just, like, filler. You know, last-minute filler or whatever. Um, or let's get into the fl- filler. But, you know, the Nets lost. Um, what else? Um, the, the, the Hawks are going to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's crazy. Um, Ratchet and Clank was amazing. So, like, you know, like, that's what, that's what I would do, you know. And I just want to really, like, start niching down so that, you know, it all just makes sense. And that, and that goes along with, like, you know, the whole, um, like, streaming thing, like, as a whole, like, I don't want to just play games, you know, like, I want to have conversation, and I've been studying a lot of different people that, you know, are in just chatting, and, like, you know, um, do talk shows and stuff like that, just to see how they do it, and what they, you know, do, and what will work for me, because, you know, I don't want to just sit there and copy people, but, you know, I need to a good idea of like you know ways to go about it so that's what i really been just trying to figure out um because you know if i want to you know continue to build this community um i need to actually like live in it you know what i'm saying like i can't like i i, I love being like a variety streamer and stuff like that and like playing a whole bunch of different games from before but um i would just like you know i was just so inconsistent with streams and now that i'm more consistent you know i'm starting to actually build a community here on twitch and stuff like that so it's 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 a dope thing to uh realize but it's also like a huge responsibility now because you know i'm gonna have to dictate what this community is going to be about i gotta lead by example you know and um that's what I'm going to try to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I just realized that. And also want to, you know, have a better schedule. Cause I still, I still get like, um, nervous when I hit start streaming, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what it is. It's it's easy for me to record videos, but it's just something about like starting the stream. Like you don't never know what's gonna happen. Like <laughs> it's a crazy it's a crazy experience. Um But you know, I wanna I wanna get better about that because I want people to be able to look forward to, you know, these podcasts and these different shows and stuff that, you know, I wanna start doing and I can't do that if they never know when it's gonna happen. Like, I'm literally recording this tonight at, like, 2.30. And, you know, this used to be the usual time. But since I've, like, you know, reset my schedule um, to where I'm getting up in the morning, it's going to be hard to get up tomorrow. But I'll probably, like, end up taking a nap or something throughout the day. Um, But, you know, I can really start to schedule stuff. You know what I'm saying? in like a meaningful way um because i have been like consistent like you know at streaming at least by 10 30 like monday through friday like every day pretty much unless like you know there's a there's a video that you know hasn't gotten done or um like i'm just exhausted you know but even then i if i don't stream then i'll come back and stream the next morning or something like that like I don't know. I just I just want to really start like like I said niching down and every episode after this one like I'm making the cha- I'm literally making a change this week, you know. Um it might not be drastic, but you know, you guys will definitely start to see it, you know. And um I'm just I'm just really looking forward to it. Uh 
let's see what else I got on my list I know I just went on a huge tangent um hmm my oh my hero the, the thumbnail for this for this podcast bro my hero um is finally getting started bro it's finally happening I don't know I don't know anything about this arc that we're about to embark on like this new villain arc um but Shigaraki is one of my favorite villains in my hero and I'm excited to see you know what he's going to do because this is the first time we don't see him in a minute bro in a cool minute um and I kind of forgot you know what happened to him <laughs> you know what I'm saying I kind of forgot uh but you know I know that freaking white hair when I see it bro and that freaking smile so you know I'm super excited for that um you know, after a disappointing episode 100, I'm glad they came back with some heat. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's got me hype again. Um, the Bad Batch, bro. We're finally getting into the end game, bro. Omega got snatched up by Cad Bane. Cad Bane is one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. Like, the Clone Wars era of uh, just everything. Like, he's such a cool character. Um... And he can they continue to, you know, push this story forward. I didn't know where the story was going to go from here just because, like, it kind of felt like it was ending, you know. But I think uh, with Omega's, like, you know, capture, it's going to really set us up for um, the end game because, you know, they was able to escape from um, Crosshair. You know, in the last episode, um, I think that that exchange was pretty cool, you know, with uh, the whole, you know, old Jedi cruiser aspect to it. And, you know, just them knowing each other so well, you know, it, it, it was a good chess match. It was definitely a good chess match. Um and for, you know, them to do all this just to lose Omega in the end, it has me it has me excited and like, you know, really feeling the uh effects of, you know, the stakes. Like the stakes are getting higher, you know. Um everybody got their chip out, you know, so there's no excuse now. So now they're really just fighting for each other. Um Black Clover is amazing. I finally got to see uh, Asta use his demon form for the first time. I've seen images and pictures of it before, so it wasn't like a super, you know, and they tease it in the, um, all the OPs, you know, pretty much of just, you know, him having de demonic power or whatever. And it was dope, bro. That fight was really cool um, between him and uh, Lagos, Largos. The laser guy, like the guy that um, was able to absorb magic and emit it out, you know, um, that was a pretty cool fight, you know, like because there was a filler episode before that and it, you know, I kind of, I just skipped that and it went into that. It was really good. It was really good. You could tell they really took their time for it. And now for, you know, the witch to... You know, Queen of the Witches. Um, I, I don't know her deal, but her magic is dope. Her magic is super cool. Um, but yeah, I just really been addicted to that. Um, been watching that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of similarities from this and Harry Potter. Um, not like literally directly, because I only still seen the first Harry Potter movie, but. Um, you know, I can definitely see the influence of Hogwarts and stuff like that. In uh, a lot of different shows, not just Black Clover, you know. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, we finished Ratchet & Clank. That review is on the channel. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely go check that out. Um, and yeah, man, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I know it was more of a, like, you know, state of the affairs or state of the dress or you know me just really just talking to you guys about where i'm at um 
and where I want to take this podcast. But, you know, we're here with it. We're honestly, we're honestly here with it, bro. So, uh, that's all I got, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If y'all did, uh, rate the podcast, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, all that, man. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. I know the vibes. I always keep going. I'll keep going to the boy G. And I'm gone. <laughs> Peace. Thank you.